All right, folks, time for some reality, little dose of hard truth. Your favorite website, your favorite app for searching houses is not enough. It is utterly inadequate in a market like this one. Now, if you're watching this video years after we made it and the market conditions have changed, be cool in the comments. Don't be that girl. Don't be that guy. Right now, what's happening is we have probably a legitimate housing shortage. We might actually just have a freakishly unusual amount of demand, but there's definitely uh, a big gap between supply and demand, which most of us would refer to as not enough houses. Here's the problem though. Because of that, if you're searching online on realtor.com or Zillow or Trulia or whatever you like online, no, not picking on any one of them today, all of them, are inadequate. To be really honest, I think the best website you could possibly search houses, at least here in Dallas, Fort Worth, is my website, dallashomerealty.com. It updates every 15 minutes. And if I were searching, I would definitely be searching there, but you also need to be searching elsewhere. And here's why. The pace of this market is having a lot of homes sell before they ever hit the market or sell to a friend in the neighborhood, or we're seeing housing trades we're seeing uh, someone, people sell to institutional buyers, internet investors, local investors, uh, corporate bulk buyers, all sorts of things are happening. But a, a larger than ever chunk of homes that are selling are not selling on the local MLS, which is where the data comes from that feeds out to Realtor.com or Zillow or Trulia or those kinds of things. So what I'm telling you is, by all means, use your favorite portal. Really what I'm telling you is if, if you know the geography you're buying in, use a local real estate agent's website in that community. It's always going to be almost always going to be better than the big national portals. But whichever one of those you really love, use that. Great. By all means, look at the houses that are being announced in the obvious places. But you've also got to look in the not so obvious places. Now, I'm biased. I'm a real estate broker here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. But wherever you are, you have got to have a very well connected and I would argue group of agents, not just an individual agent, but you got to have an agent on the ground that knows the market, that knows where to look, that knows people, that knows sellers that are thinking about selling, sellers that would only sell if the right thing happened, landlords that would sell when the lease comes up, um, investors who are selling off whole portfolios, uh, people who may not want to sell but need to sell, uh, access to people, access to homes that are not on Realtor.com, Zillow, the big brokerage websites, Redfin, all those kind of places. They're great. You got to use them. They're not going to be quite as accurate. They're not going to have the data feed quite as quickly. Sometimes they're missing some data. And by all means, they are not showing you all the things I just said. And then dozens of other scenarios where there are homes a buyer could buy that are not or will never be on those websites and apps. Those are just not enough. If you are buying right now in 2022 springtime, it, it's, it has almost never been more difficult to buy a home. Interest rates rising, people fighting over homes. Let's just say in your price range, in the area you want to look, there's 12 homes available. There may be five of them on one of those national portals, probably less than half of what is really, truly possible for you to buy. Well, just think about the quick math. The five that the most people know about are going to have the most offers, be the most competitive, probably sell for the highest price, and the least favorable terms for you, the buyer. Now, I'm not saying don't look there because that's the, the number one most obvious place to look, uh, the most plentiful, but half or more of what truly could be available to you, and those half are probably the better opportunities for you, are going to require local knowledge, digging, relationships, contacts, technology, uh, creativity, and that's almost always gonna come from a local agent. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I would love for that to be our team if we're a fit for each other. If you're anywhere else in the country, I would recommend you find not one agent, but an agent that's tied to a team, whether it's formal or informal, a connection, not just someone who's at a brokerage with hundreds of agents, but someone who's working with other agents, vendors, mortgage lenders, title companies, insurance agents on a daily basis that understands where are the rental properties that might sell. 
Where are the investors who might sell off? Where are the folks that might be a little bit in trouble with their taxes rising that might consider selling if the right offer came along? Where are the sellers that are going to sell this summer, aren't ready to be on market this spring, but would look at an offer if it was the right one? All of those and then dozens of other opportunities to find homes, that's going to come through local relationships and there's no more valuable one than a local agent. So your favorite portal, your favorite app, your favorite website is utterly inadequate. Now, it might be how you get the job done, but it's not enough. You need those other resources as well if you want the best option to buy a home. If you have questions about specific portals or specific markets, drop them in the comments. I'd be glad to connect you with a world-class real estate agent or team in other markets all around North America. Our team is here in Dallas and Fort Worth with offices in Richardson and West Fort Worth but we coach and train and know great agents all over North America. We'd love to get you introduced to one of them to protect you from only seeing half or less than half of the homes that are available to you. So take it for what it's worth. I hope it's been valuable to you. Let us know in the comments if you have other questions. We'll be glad to answer them there or jump on a phone call if you're in the DFW area and we can help. Have a good day.